And this is Ryan Finley. How are you, Ryan? John Horan, GA President, it must do your heart good to be here this afternoon in London. Absolutely, to see the level of activity that's going on these few days. I was here yesterday, the primary schools are here, and today it started off the secondary schools, and now we're into the clubs at the under eight level. And just to see the number of kids, and to think that the whole concept of the ABC Games has grown from 2,000 participants last year up to 2,500 this year, you know, you have to give great credit to those involved in the organisation. When you think this field here in Greenford is just green grass with a pitch on it and all of a sudden now we have nine pitches, barriers, marquees, toilets, everything set up. It's you know unbelievable the work that the people over here have put into it on a voluntary basis to drive this on. And when you say grow and grow, the numbers are up this year to two and a half thousand, up from 2000 last year. Yeah, it's great and it, it bodes well for the future of Gaelic Games in Britain to think that, you know, we're making that impact at such a young age, at underage, you know, schools, clubs and whatever. And like, it's, it's always better to have homegrown players involved in the game, not to be relying on people coming over here just from an immigration point of view. And some of the kids who are obviously not born in Ireland have fantastic skills and the standard is really good. Absolutely, like the athleticism and the control of the ball, like, you know, you, you feel as if you're at home, it's, it's as good. So obviously the coaching that's going on in these clubs is, and schools is of a very high standard and it's a credit to those people that are actually doing that work. One thing I've noticed is the community development administrators, the CDAs, seem to have made a massive impact. Absolutely, and, and you can see where that's Im- impacting on the schools. And I think it's key to the whole process now that the work that's done in the schools gets linked into the clubs and that we don't just do the work and it goes to nothing, that we do get that extra connect between the schools and the clubs. And then whatever work is done in the schools during the week benefits the club at the weekend. Another Dublin man at the ABCs brought a team all the way from Sheffield, where Gaelic football is on the school curriculum. Keith Cronin feels that this could be key to developing the game in Britain. It's actually really important because you can actually go on and study this at GCSE level and Gaelic football can be one of the sports on there. So a lot of schools have started to embed it in year 7, year 8, year 9 and when you go on to year 10 and 11 the kids are already known it. So a lot of kids often play football as we know or soccer so they can, they can take to it. They've got the skills to do it so it's, it actually makes sense in the school sense from an exam board sense as well to get it on the curriculum. And tell me your own background. You mentioned Dublin, but give mm-hmm. me a little bit more detail. What club, for example? Yeah, uh, so my local club is Round Towers from Clondalkin. Um, great club. Uh, I'm more of a soccer man, to be honest, but um, I, I just I, I love Gaelic football. And I know um, the power it can bring. It's a great sport. And obviously Dublin is the best county in Gaelic <laughs> football. So if, if a bit of that can rub off on these boys, then we'll be happy.